This video is about a fragrance by Guerlain called Heritage. There is an EDP and there is an EDT. Which one should you get? Which one is better? Hopefully this video will clear it up for you. I'll see you there. Hey everyone, it's Peter from Centrail. If you're new to this channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. If you're back, it's good to see you again. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designer, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, consider subscribing and supporting this channel. I want to thank you in advance. And now let's get into our fragrance, Heritage by Guerlain, EDP versus EDT. The House of Guerlain was founded in the 1820s. Let's see, Pierre-Francois Pascal Guerlain was the first one who sort of introduced us to the Guerlain name. Back in those days, however, the house mostly uh, concentrated on body care products for hygienic purposes, mostly. And over time, the house itself started making fragrances for more and more people. And at some point, it was actually making fragrances for some royal houses all over Europe. The House of Guerlain had four perfumers that were I guess relatives, we have a son, I think we have an, a, a cousin of sorts. And so in the early 1800s, we have Pierre-Francois Guerlain, the 1820s. Then we have Amy Guerlain in the late 1800s. We have Jacques Guerlain in the early 1900s. And then we have Jean Paul, Jean Paul Guerlain, and that is in the mid 1900s. The house itself then was acquired by LVMH and that is Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy Group in 1994. Jean-Paul Guerlain stayed with the company until his retirement which was I believe in 2002 after LVMH acquired the company. So he helped them out in the transition period until his retirement in 2002. And then it wasn't until 2008 that Guerlain had a new house perfumer and in 2008 Thierry Vassa became the perfumer, a house perfumer for the House of Guerlain or LVMH, which was Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy Group. At this point, the uh, Guerlain house has almost 500 fragrances in the databases, which is quite a few fragrances. And nowadays, there are many, many perfumers that take part in making the new fragrances for the House of Guerlain. I have some of them. Uh, not all 500, I wish I did, maybe at some point, but I do have some of them. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the original creations, but I have some in front of me. And today we're going to look at Heritage. And of course I have the new formulations in the new bottles and it's EDP versus EDT. Heritage, here are both formulations. I mean, here's the EDT and the EDP. Um, came out originally in 1992. The bottles since then have changed into these new shapes sometime in 2017 or 18, I believe. And it is safe to say that these fragrances over time most likely have been reformulated for us to have a more modern uh, depiction of a great olfactory pleasure, I would say. And I'm perfectly okay with that since I don't think me personally, I don't want to smell like an old man or something that has been great a long time ago, and I'm sure you don't either. So these fragrances have been reformulated and more modernized over the years, and I think they did a really good job with them. But that's enough rambling. Let's get into the fragrance. I have, we're gonna start with the EDT. I have it right here. This fragrance has a lot of notes in it. I will list them somewhere here where I find room on the screen. There's really too many to kind of just name them all off. But let's give it a spray and see how the sprayers on these new bottles are and kind of see what we got going on. Nice little puffed, nice, delicate, and it's really plenty that comes out of these. At first sniff, when you spray this, it is definitely a Guerlain fragrance. If you have more of them, you can tell. Now, if you're a person who likes you know, the sweet, the gourmands, then this is probably not going to be for you when you first spray it. It is a little, there's a little bit of a tart sharpness to it, almost like an old timey uh, Fouchere fragrance or barbershop fragrance when you first spray it only though. There's some lavender in here and something that is a lot deeper when you, when you smell this. So you smell the lavender and there's something much heavier 
lurking underneath of this fragrance. This is a complex fragrance with a slight dirtiness that is kind of in the background. It's, it's expertly blended. As you continue smelling it, you will get some aldehydes in this fragrance and also a slight hint of chocolate or something in the background. And the lavender is sort of moving out of it and away. And the fragrance softens and deepens a little bit. It's quite beautiful. There's also something in here that has a little bit of a peppery note, something with a little bit of a punch. So you got, you know, the soft lavender, you got a little bit of dirtiness, some chocolate and a little bit of pepper that kind of tingles in your nose as you smell this fragrance. It is definitely a more of a mature scent, but completely unoffensive and quite beautiful. In the dry down of this fragrance, you will have one of the best oak moss dry downs ever. You also have some cedar and sandalwood in this fragrance. And it's also, there's some amber in here and some musk. The dry down is really where it is for me in this fragrance. It smells absolutely fabulous as it dries down. The beginning is a little brighter with the lavender and it gets a little sweeter into the chocolate. Now there's not, I don't think there's a chocolate note listed, but there's definitely something in the back that kind of smells like it, it has a little bit of a dirtiness to it. And then it dries down into like cedar, sandal, musk, and a great dose of oak moss. Now that's the EDT. Let's look at the EDP. Let's set this down right here. And we have the EDP. So let's move this around this way. So we have the EDT over here. And here we have the Guerlain EDP, also from 1992 originally. And of course, these are the reformulations with the newer bottles. But you can tell, I hope from the color you can see immediately that the Eau de Parfum is going to be a lot deeper. The color of itself is much different, a deeper, deeper tone. The bottle of itself is the same. Both have wooden tops on it. Now I did spray this one on my wrist yesterday, the EDT, and I sprayed the EDP over here. There is definitely a higher concentration of perfume oil because this was really super shiny for quite, quite a while on the Eau de Parfum. But let's also give this one a spray. Same sprayer, actually I think this one might be just a little bit stronger or it's not quite as tufty as the EDT, it's a little bit heavier. But as you spray this and as you first sniff it, you can tell immediately that this one is a much more intense uh, and a much more dense fragrance. And the note breakdown of this one is virtually the same as it is in the Eau de Toilet. It is same notes. This is just a higher concentration. The only difference at first sniff that I can tell is that that dirtiness that I was talking about in the uh, Eau de Toilette from the get-go is intensified in this one and it starts off with that in a much greater volume, I guess. The lavender in this one is the Eau de Parfum is still there, although it's a little bit more subdued as are the citruses that are in this fragrance. Now this one, it has the same pepper that kind of tingles a little bit, but there is a nice dose of patchouli that is right at the beginning of this fragrance as it dries down a little bit. You can definitely tell that there is a nice dose of patchouli right there with you. Also what I notice in this fragrance, at least to me, now that's not listed anywhere, but for me, this one has a little bit of a smokiness to it or incensey or something like that. I think this would be a great scent for someone to wear in the evening and perhaps go to like a cigar bar or something like that. Just beautiful. And once again, it is a fragrance that is more on the mature side. It's not like an old man, you know, like 80s, 90s, 100, you know, can barely walk. It's not like that at all. It does have a little, a certain amount of uh, a gentlemanly quality about it and I would say late 20s early 30s 
probably nothing for the young and those. For anybody who likes the really, really sweet scents, this is not going to do it. But it is no doubt a gentlemanly and elegant scent. Also, in the Eau de Parfum versus the EDT, in the Eau de Parfum, there is a cozy quality, perhaps because it's the incense or the smokiness to this one and the dose of patchouli right at the beginning and the lavender is not as bright in this one, neither are the citruses. So there's a cozy quality about this one that is not in the Eau de Toilette. So the Eau de Toilette for me is a little bit lighter. They both have a very similar scent profile but this one is a little bit more cozy. Once again, like it is with a lot of fragrances, I guess, the Eau de Toilette for me, I would wear something throughout the day, something easy, something light. And if I were to go to like a dinner or a smoke bar or something a little bit more uh, cozy, I would wear the Eau de Parfum. Daytime, evening. They both are very similar, but this one's just a little bit more heavy and there's a coziness to it that's beautiful. And this one is a little bit lighter and the coziness kind of comes in a little bit later. Also, as far as the projection and longevity, the Eau de Toilette projects just a little bit louder when you first spray it. The Eau de Parfum stays in a little bit closer. They both do really, really well all day long. I mean, I got eight hours plus. I did wear the Eau de Toilette this morning. I spread it on to see how I would like it wearing it all day long. And it was a complete and utter pleasure. I love the way this one dried down on my skin. It's a great sort of amber oak moss musky uh, scent. Beautiful in the style of Guerlain. Now, I know that, you know, lots of you guys out there, you know, thinking, well, that's too old for me, too old school. And you would be amazed. Give it a try. Give it a spray. Wait for the lavender at the beginning and the citrus to kind of fade away. And I have to tell you, you can totally wear this, you know, late 20s, early 30s, and you will smell amazing all day long with either one of these. They dry down a day later, you know. Uh, I sprayed them on these uh, strips right here, uh, day before yesterday, and it dried down. And the next day I smelled both of them and you could tell you could not tell a difference they both smelled 100 identical after they dried down for a little while it all just really depends on whether you like it a little bit lighter a little bit more citrusy with a little bit more lavender at the top and and have that stay a little bit longer or whether you like to go immediately into a more subdued lavender something a little bit heavy that has like a bit of smoke in the back and a nice dose of patchouli and oak moss as it dries down much quicker than the Eau de Toilette does. These expertly blended classic fragrances, EDT or EDP from Guerlain, the Heritage, will have, you can have these nowadays at a really good price online. I mean, I think you can get this for under $50, either one of them, and they're both 100 milliliter bottles. So they're really, really well priced for an expertly blended scent, and they will have you smelling like a chant in no time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got anything out of this at all, please do consider subscribing and supporting this channel. I want to thank you in advance. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail.